Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming something that is kind of requested and have been asked a lot on my channel and that is like how I grew so fast as a small YouTuber, how just basically all of that, like how do I do this, how do I do that, like how am I growing so fast and I just have a bunch of tips for you guys that I want to share with you guys which has helped me as a small YouTuber. It's not easy of course and it's something that takes time so I just want to share with you guys my tips and tricks for how to grow slash start a successful YouTube channel and yeah let's just get right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy I have a couple of tips for you guys and these just really have been working for me and I feel like they can work for any small youtubers or just any youtubers in general or if you are somebody who watches YouTube like I was and you really really want to start YouTube and just don't know how so these are some tips and tricks that I have for you guys and I hope you guys use these and I hope this is so helpful so yes my first tip is going to be I have it on my phone by the way if I'm looking down um, is use what you have and just start if you're passionate about just go for it don't just sit behind the computer watching people's YouTube and like dang like I wish that was me use whatever you have you don't have to have a camera right away you can literally use your phone when I started I used my iPhone and I used iMovie on my phone I literally all I used was this in the beginning when I first wanted to start um definitely people know that it's not going to start like just like this you're not going to have like the best quality at first if you're just starting out but if you're passionate about it use what you have you don't need to spend so much money if you don't have that capability you can literally just use your phone and that serves a great purpose you can still make it look as a good video as you can iMovie has great tricks and little hacks so you can like search on youtube how to make your videos better just using iMovie you don't need to use a crazy like software I literally use iMovie on my MacBook and I've found so many like little hacks on YouTube that just helps me I actually might be doing a video on how I edit a video so stay tuned for that but you can definitely use whatever you have don't think you can't start because you don't have a Canon G7X or anything like that you literally don't need any of that to start a YouTube channel so if you're passionate about it and you really really want to do it go for it don't let anything stop you just go for it another tip I have is don't do it thinking you're going to grow in one day or one week like don't think that you're going to just skyrocket to a million subscribers so fast it does take time because you're starting out from nothing you have no base like you have no subscribers yet you literally are starting out from nothing so it's going to be hard for people to find your videos and click the subscribe button but it's also about like promoting yourself and I feel like networking with other youtubers and just really connecting on youtube as well and if you have the mentality that oh my gosh like I'm going to start and I'm going to be at this point in a week is not the most realistic but with that being said it is good to once you start and you have a little base that you can set yourself some goals like I set myself a goal to hopefully reach a thousand subscribers by January so it is good to set yourself goals but just don't start YouTube and think that the growing part is going to happen overnight the growing like success like it's not gonna happen overnight and you shouldn't think of it like oh I want to do this to make money like instantly okay so that goes into my next tip which is do it because it makes you happy and it's a hobby for you don't go in there thinking oh my gosh like i need money like i'm just gonna do this to be rich and like all of this stuff because people are gonna see that on your videos and people are going to see that you're not genuine about doing youtube and they're gonna see that you're not necessarily 100 percent happy and they're gonna catch on and people don't really like to see that because then they know that you're only in it for money and you're not in it to inspire others and show your life in a good way so definitely don't do that and that my next tip is going to be be yourself be real don't fake anything if you be fake and people can tell that as well people can see that you're not being yourself and you're just trying to be like other people or other youtubers people can definitely tell that in a video so definitely just be yourself there is no need to be somebody you're not people like People are going to like you for who you are, and if they don't, then they don't. But don't try to be somebody you're not to please everybody else on YouTube. People will 
like you for who you are and people will like certain qualities about you and your videos so genuinely be yourself and that is like really key in youtube i feel like there's so many people who try to copy other people or do this or do that and you can definitely tell you know so another tip is going to be be consistent and i definitely learned this when i first started youtube i started i think last may and i wasn't like super um consistent i didn't really like know when i was going to be uploaded to kind of just i kind of just went with the flow of like if i had something coming up i would just be like okay i'm gonna film but now that like i have been like steadily growing and like one day i was just like you know what like i really want to like start and you know be consistent with it and really enjoy doing it so what i did and what really helped me because when you're not consistent and you don't have an uploading schedule you kind of like tend to slack off or at least that's what happened to me i kind of wasn't as motivated and like oh like let me film this like let me film that so definitely making a schedule is what helped me so much like honestly i think that was like one of the biggest things was making a schedule because now i enjoy like i look forward to those days where i'm going to film a video or upload a video i made a schedule for two times a week which i think is perfect because it gives me time to like focus on schoolwork focus on everything else but still like i'm so excited to film these videos for you guys so i feel like making um an uploading schedule is definitely key even if it's once a week and you can't make a commitment don't make a commitment if you're not going to stick to it as well because you will disappoint your subscribers so try to make something that's realistic for you i mean it's okay if you don't upload a video on your day subscribers should be understanding of everyone's lives and everything you know every other thing that happens everything is not perfect all the time so definitely don't worry about that but just try to be realistic when you're making your schedule and then the next tip is going to be do not force videos do not force content that you genuinely don't care about or you're not happy with don't just film a video because it's trending if you don't like a hundred percent agree with something why film a video for it just to please others so definitely force the videos you can also see because you can hear the way people talk and like just you can i've definitely observed other videos where it looks forced you know so definitely don't force videos if you don't have time to film a video for a day that you said you're going to upload then just don't do it because definitely you don't want that negativity on your channel and it probably won't attract many of your viewers so definitely do not force videos and my next tip is going to be communicate and connect with your viewers i think this is very important as a youtuber of course you cannot like comment back to every single comment if you like have a lot of subscribers uh, have a lot of viewers and stuff and a lot of comments but definitely i think it's important to you know communicate with other subs other what's it called other youtubers and your viewers as well and just i love to reply to all of my comments as much as i can and on instagram if anybody dms me like i love responding to you guys because i feel like it's important and i feel like i'm here to you know inspire you guys and give you advice when you need it and help you guys in any situation that is needed so i feel like communicating and connecting with other youtubers you know supporting people is definitely so important and i feel like a lot of people lack that because they're only like in it for themselves in a way i feel like but definitely try to like communicate and connect with everyone on youtube i feel like that is like really important and next one is going to be don't make too too long of a video make your videos just the perfect length if you make your video three minutes long you're not going to like how do i say this that's not a lot of like watch time either and a lot of growing on youtube and being put out there is watch time you need a certain amount of watch hours to in order to even monetize your channel so definitely if you're posting like three to four minute videos that's not the best idea if you're looking to you know grow your channel steadily so definitely i feel like the range could be maybe like eight to ten minutes eight to fifteen minutes definitely make whatever you're also comfortable with but if you make too long a video video people might not stay for the whole video if you're just starting out so definitely just try to put like a little range of like 10 minutes to 15 minutes i feel like is good but definitely if you're looking to grow your channel you need watch hours and you need a certain amount of subscribers i believe it's a thousand subscribers and like four thousand hours don't quote me on that but it's something along those lines so definitely you need to 
be mindful of how long your videos are because the more views you have and the more videos you have and the more lengthy-ish videos you have you will get more watch hours and that goes to say as well um when you have a lot of videos like with that goes with making a schedule when you are more consistent you have more videos for people to continue to watch so you have more watch hours there more watch time so definitely the making an uploading schedule is also key because once you have more videos people see that you okay you're really like committed to youtube and you really want to grow your youtube and you're really here for a purpose so they will also click the subscribe button and the last thing that i have for you guys is have fun with youtube and share what's important to you love what you do and do not care what other people think of you and i think that is definitely like the biggest and most important tip for you guys is just love what you're doing and if you're happy then who cares what other people think about you who cares what they say like if your channel is strictly positive and you love doing it don't let their negativity bring you down don't let them stop you from doing what you love because nobody's going to live your life for you nobody's going to film your videos for you like you decide what you do and the only person limiting yourself is yourself so don't stop don't do anything of what people tell you to do listen to your heart and listen to what you want to do and you'll be so much more happy and people will see that on your channel so definitely have fun with youtube and i hope these tips helped you guys and i hope this gives you a better understanding of how i started to grow my channel and how i am where i am now as a small youtuber i'm nowhere near like the best youtuber ever or i'm not as successful as other people i have 500 subscribers so i just want to say thank you guys again so much for hitting that subscribe button and being a part of my channel and watching me and supporting me i always read you guys' comments and it's the sweetest thing ever so thank you and i hope we can reach a thousand soon like my goal was by january so hopefully we're still on track for that but thank you guys honestly for just watching me and i love filming videos for you guys i'm so passionate about youtube and i just hope we continue to grow and i hope you guys continue to watch me and love my videos so i hope these tips were useful and i hope you guys start a youtube channel if you are sitting behind the camera and are wanting to start one just go for it but thank you guys again so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to stay notified when i upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys